Hi everyone, we already make a book, we already make a bookshelf and now we're going to make an open book with some text written in it. So we're going to press delete and we're going to add mesh plane. Press 7, scroll down and going from object mode to edit mode. You press Control R until the purple line appear. We roll the wheel until we have two and left mouse click escape. Now we are going to selection tool edge, right click on that one, right click on that one, pressing S X to shrink it to the thickness of your book, something like this. Select that one, shift select that one and pressing S X again to enlarge it a little bit. It's an old book so it's rather big. And we're going to add another one, Control R again, until the purple line appears over here, and roll until you have three lines like that. Left mouse click and escape to position them. And now we have selected these three. We bring it, select that one, and select the other one by holding down the Shift button, pressing SX again, and bring them more outside like that. S Shift down right click on that one and bring it down a little bit like this the middle also a little more bend it like that okay we're going to add a tool add modifier subdivision surface where we put it at three and yeah it should look okay good we're going to add control r again and wait until a black line and a purple line appear and we use one we're going to move it aside very close to the edge but not on the edge because i want it a little round the other one also control r again purple appears until the end i'm going to move it until there okay and now in the opposite direction, I want it also, so Control R again, until it appears over here, like this. And I want two, so roll the mouse in the middle until you have two, left mouse click. And I want them in uh, Y direction, that's S, Y, and we, I want it to roll them open, so, sorry, or the opposite side. Again, that's why, because my mouse was too far outside the center. That's why, again, like this. So this is looking okay. And we're going to add a modifier, solidify, where we can put some material on the outside. And we're going to say 0, 2 on the outside, yes. I think we're approximately ready for the book, so we're going to object mode, going to apply that one and apply that one, and we're going to drag it, give it a color. I choose, sorry, I choose a name for that. Um, it's like the wine. It's an old book, so it should be a bit like that, and a little bit darker. Good. It's not that shiny anymore. Good. And now we're going to add another part, mesh plane. Shrink it down like that. R X90. And we bring it up. And we bring it to the front. The distance from here to here is the difference between your paper and the book. Okay, we shrink it down, so the thickness of the book is the height of the cube. So I want my book to be something like that. So pressing S now to just touching the material over there. Like this. And I'm going to enlarge it, so we're going to edit mode. Edge selection, right click on that one. And then bring it onto something over here. Yes, right click on that one and move it aside 
until you are approximately in the center of the line. Okay, and now we're going to divide it in nine different pieces. So we're going to press Ctrl R again until we have this line. And now we roll the mouse nine. So we get nine lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's not important how much you got, but escape. The more you get, the more you are able to control that shape. Okay, we go to vertex selection right click on that one shift right click on everyone else until the light the latest one until there and now we will be moving to the right like this we sh hold down the shift button and right click on it and do the same do the same and always a little more to the right just shift down right click move with the side just a little bit more then shift right click move with the side so you get a pretty nice form. Always a little more. And then later on we go to the middle where we can shrink. Or like that. Okay. In here. Right click on that one. Bring it down. Hold down the shift button while right clicking on the next one. Bring it down. Shift right clicking on the next one, shift right clicking on the next one, shift right clicking on the next one, and we have a look a little bit more. So we get that nice look. Yeah, I think it's probably something like that. So the only thing left now is that this form should follow. The curve of the book so we right click on that one until the line disappears ah, she disappearing it's a little more up okay like that and now we're going to divide that line so we go to edge selection and we're going to subdivide it two times three times okay we're going to edge selection again and we select that edge we're going to subdivide it also one Okay, we're going to position these edges a little more to following the book. So, right click on that one and all the other ones. And we can bring it down until it disappears. Like that. Right click, shift right click on that one and go down with the other ones until it disappears. Shift right click on that one until it disappears. If this is not good enough for you, or you want to... to follow the form a little bit more so for instance that this one is going into the material just select that edge subdivide it again go to select all these points always go to the right with it because otherwise you get in trouble that the latest one is not straight again like this shift right here. pay attention that the last part of the book is not touching the paper I think it's something like this so what we have in the middle is we have also here that bended side so we're going to do that the same thing over here we're going to select every vertex let's right click shift right click sorry on every of these points except the last one I'm going to move them aside a bit don't hold down the shift button right click on that one and move it aside a little bit and so on and you can do the same sorry forgot that's the other one you see it's very easy You also go for a little bit more. Uh, this is not looking so good. So I'm going to switch this one more to there.
if you want more the same thing select the edge subdivide it and you have more of that but i'm just showing you how to do it uh, it's the principle that counts okay we press a to deselect and a to select everything and we're going to extrude in y direction so we press s y and we're going to extrude the book until somewhere over there should look okay this side and this side uh, it's not okay we're going to enlarge them a little bit more and then we're going to object mode where we can position the book that it is equal on both sides and it's looking like this okay good now we're going to smoothen it okay this is done also we're going to give it a color and it should be normally white creamy and because it's an old one it's a little yellow okay and now we're going to copy to mirror it but we cannot mirror it if i want to mirror it I'm going to show you and you say mirror where are you he's mirroring within the, in the wrong position so i don't want that i want it position over there so first of all we're going to position the cursor therefore we're going to press n scroll down and we put the cursor at the zero position zero 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 and now we're going over here set origin where we say origin to the center of the and to the cursor sorry so it's now okay now if i add now mirror that's good you see uh, you can say clipping because if you want them to uh, clip together and uh, you can say apply okay so uh, now uh, we can position the camera i'm going to press n for the camera and we're going to lock the view and i think everyone knows how to position his view just rolling the mouse is zooming in okay something like that when this is done i'm holding shift down and rolling the mouse is up down zoom in zoom out up and down etc look over here put your cursor on the screen and press zero to come out of it now we're going to so to put some lamps at the correct position at the correct position at a position i want this one over here i'm going to say illumination 2.5 not that control d to push it, to put one over here and control d to put one in the front um, okay we're going to have a quick look if the render is looking rather good a little more to over there and a little more to the back okay Sorry. This is one too yellow and the other one is too close well okay bring that one more backwards and this a little bit more to there well it's not that important it's just to know yeah the front is not completely good but okay Good, we're going to now put some text on it. So, going to add text, and I bring it a little more up, so you I can see the text. And we go to edit mode, and you can type in the text you want. So, my name is Kill, and this is the tutorial. don't type anything wrong I'm
and you can type whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to do it and put a note over here. Okay, just saying something. Text is done. Going to object mode and we're going to shrink it. So we're going to press S to shrink it. And we're going to bring it somewhere over there and shrink it a little bit more because I don't want it in the center of the book, of course. And we're going to lower it a little bit so we can see what's going on. Okay. So now we're going to put a color to the text. And we're going to choose black, gray, like that. I don't want any intensity and I want hardness to the maximum. Okay, and we're going to type in con uh, sorry, Alt C to switch from mesh to text, and we're going to modify it. And we're going to choose here shrink wrap and we select i think it's plain one yeah that's the book and now i can position my text again i want it somewhere over there and a little one to the left like that and as high as it can so now i can to copy Control d I'm going to switch it over there. Y you could put in uh, there some other text if you want. It's just to show you how you do it. Okay. And now we have a quick render to see if it is looking good. So, in here you see I have an open book with some text I written on it. Uh, I hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching.